Good evening everybody. This is Jima coming to you once again. Today I'm coming to you with uh, another subtopic in indices. That is indices involving decimals. Before I go to the main uh, topic of today I want to quickly introduce you to my ebook which you can access from this web page. The book contains 99 questions and solutions on indices. Um, again, before we move to today's topic, I just want us to look at the recap of the last video. I mean, this is uh, all about the basic laws that have been covered in previous videos. So I will uh, advise you to take note of all these because we're going to be referring to them. Um, it's also some of the laws that we already did before. Uh, please take note of them. So today we're going to look at um, more examples from those uh, exams. So the first one today is um, simplify 0 0.027 raised to power minus 1 over 3. This is um, Y question 1995. So the solution goes like this. The first thing you're gonna do is to change these decimals into fraction. This is just better. So 0 0.027 is the same as 27 over 1000. So the next thing you're gonna do here is to convert this uh, the negative sign of the exponent into positive and from the rule 2.6 you can do that by just taking this 1000 take it up and bring 27 down as we have here and you can notice that the negative sign as disappeared so you can also combine um, rule 2.3 and 2.7 to factorize uh, 1000 and 27 1000 is the same as 10 raised to power 3 and 27 is the same as 3 raised to power 3 and if you put both of them together you can have them all raised to power 3 and the next thing you're gonna do is just to open the bracket and by doing that you're gonna have 3 times 1 over 3 and 3 we cancel 3 I mean 3 is gonna cancel out 3 so you're gonna have 1 at the end you're gonna have 10 over 3 and if you simplify this further you're gonna have 3 O number 1 over 3 so that is all about this uh, question so you could use the same step as highlighted here to solve this exercise this is UME question number 12 uh, just try it and the answer is 625 over 8 so we go to another question which is um, without using tables evaluate 3 4 3 raised to power 1 over 3 times 0 0.014 raised to power minus 1 times 25 raised to power minus 1 over 2 and this is um, UME question so you have 3, 4, 3, 
times 10 to the power 3 I'm just repeating the question here I've not done anything so what we are going to do here is to find the factor of 3 for 3 and this gives us 7 raised to the power 3 and find the um, change this one from um, decimals to number and I have 14 over 100 and uh, I found the factor of 25 which is 5 raised to the power 2 so if you um, take a look at those uh, rules specifically rules 2.6 and 2.7 so um, what you're gonna do is uh, this one is the is still the way it is and you are going to change this one swap the numerator and the denominator to change this negative to positive and also do the same to this one to change the power from negative to positive and uh, after doing that just open the bracket so that you have 3 times 1 over 3 and just this is just ordinary division so no problem here and again you have 5 times 1 over 2 I mean 2 times 1 over 2 so by uh, further simplification of all these numbers here you are gonna have 10 and that gives you the answer to this question so um, let's quickly look at another question which is similar to what we have done before simplify 36 raised to power 1 over 2 times 64 raised to power minus 1 over 2 times 5 raised to power 0 so our solution we uh, uh, just repeat uh, the question here and after that find the factors of 36 and that is 6 raised to power 2 and um, uh, try to remove the negative of this exponent by swapping 64 I want everyone to know that this 64 is the same as 64 over 1 so if I want to swap now it's going to be 1 over 64 the way I just uh, have here so 5 raised to power 0 remember we said anything raised to power 0 is 1 so this is 1 now so the next thing is just to uh, find the factor of 64 which is 8 raised to power 2 and open the bracket so you are going to just uh, multiply the exponent by the power so this is already 1 raised to power half which is still 1 and uh, this is 2 times half and don't forget as well if you open this bracket here you have 2 times 1 over 2 and um, a further simplification of this one will give you 6 times 1 over 8 and that is 3 over 4 so <coughs> just um, try your end and the following they are similar questions to the one we have done before so and they are taken from YEC and the answers are there so just try your ends on them so the last um, for example we have 5 raised to power f is equals to um, square root of 5 remember this here is eating so what is here is 2 this is the standard that is why the 2 is not really reflecting another example here is 7 raised to power 1 over 4 and this is 4 root of 7 and so on so now we could combine all those laws with this uh, law 2.9 to solve further problems. Let's take example of this one. Simplify um, 16 over 81 raised to power minus 3 over 4 times 100 over 81. So what we're gonna do here is um, just apply law 2.9 as we have here we can see just this is square roots 
is the same thing as 1 over 2 and uh, the next thing is just to take the, fa the factors factors of 81 16 100 81 so that's uh, what I did here in the next step and just um, put this one they have the same exponents so we can put them together in a bracket and uh, the next is you have 4 times 3 over 4 times 10 over 9 raised to power 2 times 1 over 2 so this 4 we cancel 4 2 cancels 2 and you have 3 over 2 raised to power 3 then 10 over 9 so what do we do so we can open all the brackets to have um, the whole thing in this form and 3 raised to power 3 is 27 2 raised to power 3 is 8 and you have 10 over 9 for the simplification we give you 15 over 4 so uh, this is uh, just a bit on indices involving um, decimal numbers in our next video we're gonna look at exponential or indicia equations and before then I will uh, I'd like you to just try your hands on all indices questions in YEG SSCE, GCE, or NECO, or it can be UTME if you are preparing to write one of these exams. But um, try that of 2010 to 2014. Just be focused on indices question there and see how far you have understood. Um, this topic so for online assistance you can join us on this address and before then live in peace and live united thank you